And now, a game of high stakes, where every decision is a gamble and every move could be your last. High Rollers! And now, here's the man with all the action, your host of High Rollers, Brandon Scrubs! Thank you all so much, and hello once again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another edition of High Rollers right here at MVG Productions. Glad you could be here with us once again. Well, we are here with as the season continues to roll on, and we have a champion here who is likes to add to his winnings and see if he can't make a jump and rush to uh, the Tournament of Champions at the end of our season. So, with that said, let's meet our players for today's game, starting first off with our returning champion, Back with us with a grand total so far of $64,080 in his current run. Please welcome back, Mr. Scott Michaels. Boo. Oh, hi. Welcome back, Scott. Glad to be here with us. I uh, picked up a nice chunk of prizes last time out here on the show, but unfortunately it was not quite able to conquer the big numbers. But you ready to go back at it once again today? Yeah, I'm ready. Hopefully I can get back there and conquer them this time. Yeah, that's that's all we can hope for to see um, how things are going to work out for you. But uh, remind the good folks at home a little bit about yourself before we get going. Yeah, uh, I'm from that state that likes cheese, Wisconsin. Uh, currently college student. About Unfortunately, about to get off a of spring break here, which means I'm going back to uh, being a stage manager for our production of 12th night at my university and yeah love game shows love bowling oh, fantastic well good luck today and let's meet your challenger who's gonna be playing against you for the first time this season please welcome in mr nelson ezra hello hello Moo. shut up i'm <laughs> michael oh, oh. <laughs> wonderful reactions here Love it. Nels, welcome back to High Roller, sir. Tell the Thank folks at home about yourself. I'm from Minnesota, the better state of the two. Um, I'm also a bowler. My highest is a 240... It's a 240-something. Two, 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 two and I like to beat Scott. <laughs> Fair enough. It's still better than my 180 best I've ever bowled. I was, say, hey, I was proud of it. I had five strikes in a row before it, before it went off the rails. <laughs> there you <laughs> go. So I ain't mad at it. But anyway, welcome aboard to you both. Thank One of you is going to have a chance to hit to our uh, big numbers round here in a little bit for a chance at $100,000 in cash. But in order to determine who that is going to be, we got to play our game. So let's get to it by loading up some prizes on our board. Starting at column one, we find a spa, along with the electric dartboard, the trip to Vancouver, and a 60-inch LCD HD TV. And that, col that column is now worth $21,057. In column two, we have a fire pit, an espresso machine, the smartphone with one year of service, and those three prizes combined for a total of $7,203. And in column three, we have an outdoor kitchen island worth $9,495, making the total board value for this first game $37,755. Oh. Right, lots of prizes there to be won. The only way we can win them is by eliminating the numbers, and they line up like this. And it looks like we do have a hot column. Nope. Ooh. Column number two, a roll of 12 there, can get you the $7,200 of prizes there. Along with our hot column bonus of $5,000. All right, good luck to both Scott and Nels as we go with this first question here on High Rollers. Moses, Joseph, or Jonah? In the Old Testament, who parted the... Nels. Moses? Who parted the Red Sea? Moses is correct. I'm five of them right. Yeah, okay. Good job, sir. All right, the dice are yours. Go ahead and give them a roll. Come on, 12. Now roll, and it is a six. 
Let's go six by itself. All right, six by itself comes off the board. Moving now, on a roll of 12 will now clear column one or two. Rumpelstiltskin, Sleeping Beauty, or Rapunzel? In the fairy tale, who let down her hair for the prince? Nails. Rapunzel. For the prince to climb, Rapunzel is correct. Let's roll again. All right, yep, dice are yours. And the roll is a four. Four by itself. Four by itself comes off the board. And now opens up an 11 now for column number three. Tiger, leopard, or lion? Which of these is the largest of the big cats? Scott. A uh, lion. No, I'm sorry. It's actually the tiger. The tiger is slightly bigger than a lion is there. So oh. sorry about okay. that. Nails, over to you. You've got the dice. Uh, I'll roll. Go ahead. And the roll is a 12. Oh, boy. There you go. That's okay. an insurance marker uh, there. Give me the hot column bonus. All right. So the nine, the one, and the two call come off. And you just got column two and the hot column. Yes. That is $5,000 guaranteed money that goes to you no matter what happens the rest of the game. And now on the board, we have a 7, 5, 3, and 8 remaining. Here comes your next question. Manchester, Liverpool, or London? Which city was the hometown of the Beatles? Nels? Liverpool? Yes. The Beatles. The, <laughs> yes, the Beatles. The lads from Liverpool. You are right. All right, now, option is yours, sir. Bad rolls for you are four, six, and nine. You want to roll or pass? Roll. Then I roll it, okay. And roll is a nine. That is a bad roll. Oh, you got to take okay. your insurance marker back from you and roll again. Roll is 12 again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take palm number one, please. So the seven and the five? Yes, sir. Seven and five come off, and you've got column number one. Nail's trying to sweep all the prizes in this game here at eight and three, <laughs> all are remaining. Let's see if Scott can play a little catch up here. Here's your next one. Kurt Cobain, Christian Slater, or Anthony Kiedis? Which singer did actress Courtney Love marry Scott? Kurt Cobain. Mary in 1992. Kurt Cobain is correct. Woo! <laughs> All right, Scott. Uh, good rolls left. Three, eight, and 11. <laughs> Gee, I wonder what he's going to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here you go. <laughs> I'm passing. All right, going to pass it over. And okay. Now, again, a three, eight, or 11 will keep you. A three or eight will keep you in the game. An 11, however, will give you the game. Okay. No pressure, right? And it's a nine. Bad roll oh, there. Okay. So take that uh, insurance marker from you, and we'll ask you to roll again. Come on. It's a three. Oh, my I'll God. Three. three comes off the board. The game continues on with the final number up there Whoa. of an eight. <laughs> so it comes down to this. Shy, greedy, or socially confident. What sort of person could be described as an extrovert? Scott. Uh, the socially one. Sorry. Socially confident? Yes. That is correct. Oh. All right, Scott. Eight's left. Do you want to roll it or do you want Nails to roll it? Nails, if you can get it, you deserve it. Pass. Oh, All right, geez, Nails. Dang. Roll me an eight. You clear the board and you take game one. Okay, come on. Eight. Oh, it's a seven oh. so close that Scott picks up game one. I thought you had it. I thought you I had, thought it. had it. Too. Very, very close, but Scott, our champion, holds on, picks up a, okay. the minimum of $1,000 there. But, Nails, you also have that hot column bonus, so five grand That's yours. So, hey, you're already both a winner after one game, so good job. Yay. But let's see if we can try to give away some prizes here as we clear the board and go for game number two by loading in some more prizes. Starting first at column one, we have the SPA, yeah. the electric yeah. dartboard, yeah. the trip to Vancouver, the 60-inch TV, and to that we're adding a set of power tools and workbenches. 
Make hey, him. Scott, you can't have the power tools. I'm sorry. Well, he might if he wins them. That column's worth $22,929 now. Okay. And column two to go with the fire pit and the espresso machine and the smartphone and your service. We're adding a Toyota Corolla oh, LE. Hey. We have a car on the board. Worth oh, 19758 making column two now worth 26961 Wow. Okay. And in column three to go with the outdoor kitchen island, we're adding a trip to the Amazon <laughs> for $25,222. Column three worth $34,717 and a uh, board value in this second fight. game of $84,607. Oh, Lord. That's a board total. Yep. Yeah. That, and that is a lot of prizes for somebody to win. Let's see how it does as we line up the numbers. No, nope, mm. it is column two. Oh. Column two again, our hot column with another roll of 12. To get you over $26,000 and a hey, brand Scott, new I roll another 12? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, we shall see if they can do so. Hands on buzzers, players, as we get started with game two with this. Uncle Tom's Cabin, Roots, or Tom Sawyer? Harriet Beecher Stowe, <laughs> Nels. Uncle Tom's Cabin. Is the author of which novel? Uncle Tom's Cabin is correct. Nels is on fire. He is. Mm -hmm. And, Nels, and yeah. the dice are uh, yours. Come on, 12. <laughs> it's a 12, he calls it. <laughs> I'll, I'll take the 8, 3, and 1, please. 8, 3, and 1. Come off the board. You get column doing another hot column bonus. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I told it too, didn't I, Scott? Shame is this is the first time we've actually given away two hot columns in a single game and a single match. I think I think it might be, but hey, well done. That's Thank another five thousand dollars, and those prizes go to your side of the board again. They're only yours should you manage to win the round. Yeah. Only bad roll now is a three as we go to this. Bert, Brat, or Bart? Who is Homer Simpson's <laughs> Scott? Bart. Homer Simpson's mischievous son, Bart, is correct. <laughs> All right, Scott. Bad roll of three. You want to roll it or pass? Mm. Watch the roll of three. Something's off. I'm going to pass. Going to pass. All right. <laughs> Nels, over to you. Yeah. You... And the roll is a nine. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take the nine. All right. Nine by itself comes off. Meaning another nine to clear column number three. Belinda Carlisle. Tina Turner, or Whitney Houston? Who sang about being a... Nels? Oh, Whitney Houston. Who sang about being a private dancer in the 1984 nah. singles chart? That was actually Tina Turner. Yeah. Sorry about that. Okay. Scott, dice are mm -hmm. back to you, sir. Again, only bad roll is a three. I'll take them. All right. There you are yours. Oh... Please don't. Please don't bite me. Come on. And it's a double. Yes. yes. And the roll is an eight. Uh, six and two the only way? Yeah. yeah. Six and yep. two. Six and yeah. two. Come off the board. Now you need a roll of nine to clear column one, and a seven will clear column three. Goofy, Donald Duck, or Mickey Mouse? Who was the sorcerer's apprentice? Scott. Uh, Mickey Mouse. Sorcerer's Apprentice in the movie Fantasia. Mickey is correct. <laughs> All right, sir. Bad rolls for you. Three, six, eight, and ten. Come on. I, I, have, a, I have a marker, but I can't risk it. I'm going to pass. Okay, pass. Over okay. to you, Nels. Come on, seven. Come on, seven. And dice roll is a five. Oh, boy. I'll take, I'll take the five. Five comes off the board. Moving now a four okay. for column number one. So getting down Ooh. to the nitty gritty. Here we go. Next this question. Again, nitty gritty time. <laughs> yep. Next question. Spiders, like spiders, spiders, birds, or bats? If you have arachnophobia, <laughs> nails. <clears throat> spiders. You are afraid of what? Spiders is correct. <laughs> nice. That was good. Yeah. Thank you. Um. Now I'm in a pickle. Um, 
We each have a marker. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'll I'll try for the eleven. I'll I'll play. I'm gonna go for Whoa. yourself. <laughs> All right, four seven keeps you in the game. Eleven will give you the will give you the match and tie it up. Good luck. That takes, Thank you. That takes guts, man. Yeah. <laughs> And the roll is 11! Oh, he's oh, got oh, it! Oh, he's got them both, and he clears the board! Oh, awesome. And that gives him the first... Oh. Nice! Nice, it. nice Nels! <laughs> Thank you! And that is how it is done, just <laughs> like that. $84,607 for Nels right there. Very impressive. Great. This is Thank a great you. match between Thank both of them. You. We're all tied up. We're going to have to go to a tiebreaker here to see who wins it all. And we're going to start with a very light board because Nels just took us for everything we had up yeah, there. Yeah, sorry. That's okay. That's <laughs> fine. TLD. This is, this is why we have more prizes. And we trust me, we got a warehouse full of them. Let's see what we're going to bring out here <laughs> for this game here to t for the tiebreaker. Starting first in column one, we have a 22-inch outdoor okay. TV worth $2,595. Column two, we'll find a Chevy oh Camaro. <laughs> we got another car on the board worth twenty three thousand five hundred and thirty dollars. Wow! And finally, in column number three, we have a three piece bar set worth one thousand eight hundred eighty seven dollars, and a board value for this tiebreaker match of twenty eight thousand twelve dollars. <laughs> Well, we just gave away a card to Nels. Let's see if Scott can get one, get one here and tie it up and hold on to his championship, or will Nels be our new champion? Let's find out as we line up the numbers for this ma tiebreaker match. Column and three. no hot column no. this time, oh. unfortunately. Sorry about oh. that. So All 13, duh. Yep. No bonus money here on this one, so this is just for the championship itself. So good luck to you both. We start the tiebreaker round with this. K and L, L and M, or M and N? Nels. M and N. What are the two letters? What are the two middle letters of the alphabet? M and N is correct. Okay. Oh. All right, I Nels, first roll of the tiebreaker match is yours. I guess I got scaring myself. And the roll is a seven. I'll do five and two. Five and two come off the board. They're in a roll of seven now for column two. Here's your next one. H-A, H-I, or H-W? What is the... Scott. H-W. What is the postal abbreviation for the state of Hawaii? It's H-I. H-I, I'm sorry about that. Nels, you're still in control, uh, and technically all rolls are still good. I'll roll. And you got yourself a four. Let's do one and three. All right, one and three both come off the board now. Leaving now a roll of ten to clear column number three. Here is your next question. Good morning, Vietnam. For Scump. For S Nels. Good morning, Vietnam. What was the question? What was Robin Williams' catchphrase? No, the question actually was, which of these movies does not star Tom Hanks? Good Morning Vietnam, Forrest Gump, or Sleepless in Seattle? And you are correct. Wow! Oh, that was Coulter. Out of dumb anticipation, he got lucky on that one. Nels? Yeah, I'll, I'll roll. Okay. Oh, my right. God. Have at it. Okay, come on. Seven. <laughs> And it's a double. It's a two, but unfortunately that is a bad roll, so I'm just going to hold on to this marker and ask you to roll again. Got a nine. Nine. Yep, nine's the only way it comes off the board. And that leaves now a roll of eight for column number one. Ireland, Scotland, or Wales? Where did Scotch whiskey originate? Nails. Ireland? Scotland. Sorry, sorry. Scotch whiskey comes from Scotland. Uh, Scott, mm. uh, option is yours, sir. Again, bad rolls. Three, five, and nine. 
I can't risk it with this being tiebreaker. Back to Nels with the dice. Okay. No, so there you go. Why? Why, buddy? Why? And the roll is a double. No. Oh. With a 10. I'll take the 10, please. Uh, four and six. Four and six come off the board, and you just picked up call number three. All right. Prizes for Nels there, and we have a seven and an eight remaining on the board. So control, very important. Here's your next question. Painting, fish, or cooking? Emulsion, primer, and undercoat. Nels. Painting? Are all terms connected with what painting is correct? All right, Nels. Uh, I... You do have I'll an insurance go. marker. I'll go for it. Gonna roll, all right. A oh seven, seven God, or an Nels. eight will keep you in the game. And the roll is a nine. That's a bad roll. Okay. I'll take that insurance marker. Ask you to roll again. Come on! Oh. It's a double with a two. Four. Okay. Well, again, can't take that one off, but I'll keep the insurance marker. He rolls again with... A 12! <laughs> There's wow. one 12 of the round! <laughs> yeah. Yep, let's say that you, every craps player in the world would love the way you're rolling right now, but unfortunately, yeah, it still doesn't help you out. You need a 7 no. or an 8. Rolls again, and a 10! Oh. a bad roll, and Scott is still our champion! Oh. Oh. Great match, dude! Oh my god! Oh. This is fun. That's how you do it. That is a, that is a yeah, major I, match for I just had to, because... Well, uh, congratulations to you. Thank you. There you've picked, uh, Scott, you have picked up two the bare minimum, $2,000 there, so that means you are going I'll take it. back to the big numbers here in just a moment. And for you, Nels, you made that a very entertaining and very yeah. big game right there for you. But Thank you. Did you have fun? Of course. I love playing against Scott. He's my brother from another mother. Well, wow. you did. did oh. Oh. Well, for I'll say this much. For a losing effort, I don't hey. think you could call yourself a loser there. No, no, you no, picked no, no, up no, no. that plus an additional $10,000 in bonus money. <laughs> you leave us here on high rolls this round with $94,607. I'll take Are you doing? What are you doing for the tournament campers? The top four? Yep, or? top four as always. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that total, that for a losing effort, that total will actually, as I'm looking at the high scoreboard, puts you currently in fourth place. And one go there, so not bad. Okay. Sir. But there's still a lot of season left, so oh, you, yeah. come, you come back I'll and try back. again? Oh, I'll be back. Well, we look forward to seeing you then. Thank you. And, but in the meantime, between time, Scott's going to take his $66,080 he has currently and try to see if he can add another 100000 to it. As he takes on the big numbers, we'll do that right after the break here on High Rollers. Stay with us. Welcome back to High Rollers here. Scott gets away with the victory here. He picked up another $2,000, and now he's going to take his chance here. At the big number, Scott, you know how this works. you got to remove all nine numbers off our big board here. Every time you do, you get $1,000. Get rid of all nine. I will turn it into $100,000. <laughs> number doubles along the way will give you insurance markers, which will hopefully help you stay in the game. And with that said, here are the golden dice. I wish you the best of luck. Let's get that money. There we go. The first roll of the day is a seven. By itself. Seven by itself comes off the board. You got yourself a thousand dollars. All right, come on, let's get some bigger numbers. Bigger numbers now is an eight. That works. Take off the snowman. All right, eight comes off. Up to two thousand dollars. All right, I could use a double, please. And a ten. The one I wanted. Nine and one. One and nine come off the board, and just like that, you're up to four thousand dollars. Roll again. And a six. By itself. Marking them one at a time. They're up to five thousand dollars. All right. Roll is an eleven. The 
think it's just would it be just five four two? It would be five four and two. That makes eleven. Oh, they all come off, and you've got eight thousand dollars. All right, sir. One shot at this. Roll me the old ace deuce, and you get yourself a hundred grand. Come on, Jason. Let your let your tree pop up. Come on. That's a 10. Oh, well, tough break there, my friend. But, hey, not too shabby. You just won yourself $8,000 more. And when we add that to your $66,080 you have currently, gives you now a grand total here of $74,080. Not too, we'll take it. Not too bad, my friend. But still, the important news is you're still the champion. That's your second win. You need three more to qualify for our tournament, automatically qualify for our tournament of champions. We'll see how Scott does. He takes on another player on the other side of this break right here on High Rollers. We'll be right back. Welcome back to High Rollers here. Scott still our champion, and he's ready to take on his next opponent now, so let's meet him. Please welcome in to uh, High Rollers, Mr. Bobby Bailey. <laughs> welcome to the show, Bobby. Thanks, Brandon. It's a pleasure to be on the stage. Good. Glad, glad to have you back here. Remind the good folks at home a little bit about yourself, sir. My name is Bobby Bailey, and I am an options trader from Bluefield, West Virginia. Uh -huh. And what do you like to do in your spare time when you're not busy making money? I like to watch game shows, including the ones on this channel, and listen to books in my audiobook library. Fantastic. Good way. Nice, good way to spend your time there, both. Welcome to the show. Good luck to you. Let's jump straight into game number two now as we start by putting some prizes on the board. Starting first in column one, we have the 22-inch outdoor TV. To that We're adding a Toyota Tacoma up there. Woo! Boy. Another car on the board worth 19289 making the column now worth 21884 Column two, to go with the Chevy Camaro, we're adding a barbecue grill up there worth $12.99. Column two, now worth $24,829. And finally, in column three, to go with the bar set, we're adding a trip to Monte Carlo worth $7,500. Column three, now worth $94.93, and a board value for game number one of $56,156. All right, two cars up there. Somebody can walk, drive out of here a big winner. We'll see how it works as the numbers line up. Ooh. And we have a hot column, column number three. A roll of eight. We'll clear all those numbers. And again, that $5,000 hot column bonus. So good luck to two good players as we start our second game of this episode with this question. French, Japanese, or Italian? What language do the inhabitants of Venice speak? And that's Scott. Uh, Italian. Italian is correct. All right, and the first roll of this round goes to you. Take them, um, thank you. And the roll is an eight. It's, <laughs> it's a double. How do you want to play it? Five, five, two, one. Five, two, one. Come off the board. You got a hot column. Hey. Oh, again, guaranteed five thousand dollars. That's three for this episode. I love this. Let's keep this up. All right. Uh, bad rolls now are. It's just a five players. So we go to this. Their words: crackers or cake. Marie Antoinette famously Scott cake remarked, "Let them eat what." Cake is the correct answer. You're all right, sir. Okay. Bad roll of a five. Would you like to roll it or pass? I'll take him. I'm going to roll. All right. Nope. Try that again. There we go. And the roll is a double again. <laughs> well, I think I'll take the snowman. All right. The eight comes off the board by itself, leaving now a roll of nine to clear column number three. 
He's quick, Bobby. You'll have to jump in there. Here we go with the next question. New York, Texas, or Arkansas? Before standing for the presidency, Bill Clinton served five terms. Bobby. Arkansas. As governor of what state? Arkansas is the correct answer. All right, Bobby, you're in control of the dice. Uh, the bad rolls are five and eight. Would you like to roll or pass? I'll roll. Okay. I'll roll you. There you go. Good luck. And the roll is a six. Let's take the six. All right. Six by itself comes off. Maybe now a roll of three to clear column number two. Chicago, Dallas, or Philadelphia? What city shares its name with a brand of soft cheese? That's Bobby. Oh. Philadelphia. Yeah, Philadelphia cream cheese. You are correct, sir. Okay, Bobby. Uh, bad rolls again now are five, six, and eight. I'll roll. Gonna roll. All right. My roll is a double. It's a four. And let's take out the four. All right. Four comes off the board. And three numbers left on the there. Players nine, seven, and three. Abracadabra, Hocus Pocus, or Open Sesame? What did Alibaba say to enter the... Bobby. Open Sesame. To enter the treasure cave, Open Sesame is correct. All right, Bobby. Good rolls left are 3, 7, 9, 10, and 12. Would you like to roll or pass? I'll pass. Going to pass it. All right. Scott, good news is here. You've got two insurance markers, so let's see if you can get something off the board here. I know. Let's hit it early. Come on, please. And roll is an eight. That's Ooh. a bad roll. I'll take an insurance marker, and you can roll again. Come on. A seven. By itself. Seven comes off the board, and the game continues. Nine and three, all that remain. A roll of 12 oh. will now clear the board and give you the game. Here it comes, your question. Pants, vest, or hat? What bulletproof item of clothing is... Scott. Vest. Is sometimes worn by the police force. A bulletproof vest is correct. All right, Scott, what do you want to do? You both have one insurance marker here. Like I always say, if you can roll it, you deserve it. It's yours, Bobby. All right, Bobby. Three or nine keeps you in the game. A 12 gives you the first game of this match. Okay, box cars. Let's go. And, ooh, snake <laughs> eyes. Right idea. Wrong side of the dice there. I'll just mm. hold on to this insurance marker. You can roll again. Okay, other side of the dice. Here we go. Ooh, 11. Oh. That's very close. I'll have to take your insurance marker now, and you get one more crack at it. Oh, one more number to go. Let's try to do it. And... Ah, oh, it's a six. A bad roll, and Scott picks up game one. Very nicely done. Look there. $9,443 of prizes for Scott. Plus the $5,000 hot column bonus there as well. So Scott's off to a good start. Bobby, you can play some catch up here as we jump straight into game number two and we look at these prizes being added to the board. First in column one to go with the TV, the Toyota Tacoma, we're adding a set of flatware, making column one now worth $23,473. <laughs> column two, we have a Chevy Camaro LS. The barbecue grill into that, we're adding an 82-inch TV. Good Lord. We're $4,500. Column 2 now worth $29,328. And finally, Column 3. We have a bedroom group and e-reader. We're $6,312 there. And our total board value now is $59,113. All right, more prizes to be won. Let's line them up for all the fun. And we have a hot column. 
Column two. Oh, boy. A roll of nine. Gets you the most expensive column up on the board, including that brand new Chevy Camaro. Good luck to you, players. Bobby trying to play catch up as we start with this. Banjo, flute, or ukulele. Which instrument is called by its Hawaiian name? Scott. Ukulele. Ukulele is correct. I realize I pronounced it wrong the first time, but y'all still got it anyway. All right, Scott, dice are yours. Yeah, it. The Hawaiians, they call it the ukulele. We call it ukulele. Americanized it. All right. <laughs> and it's a four. Uh, by itself, please. Four by itself comes off the board. A roll of 12. Now we'll clear column number one. Catch 33. Catch 22. Scott. Catch 22. What was Joseph Holler's biggest selling novel? Catch 22 is correct. All right, dice are yours. That's a gold mine question right there if I've heard one. <laughs> and that's an eight. By itself. Eight by itself comes off the board. And 12 will now clear column one or column three. Wallaby, boomerang, or didgeridoo? Which Australian throwing stick is supposed to... Scott. A boomerang. It's supposed to return to its thrower. Boomerang is correct. And again, the dice are yours. All right. And the roll is a five. Uh, by itself, please. Right. Five by itself comes off the board. And again, all rolls are still good. Trams, steam engines, or gondolas. For what form of transport is Venice famous for? Scott. Gondolas. Gondolas wow. or gondolas is correct. <laughs> All right, Scott. Dice once again are yours. Come on. Give me the nine. And the roll is a seven. I will take column one because there's a car in there too. Seven it <laughs> is. Seven by itself. You got it. And column one is yours. And again, you can keep that car should you win the round. All right. And surprisingly, all rolls, still good. Here's your next one. Saturn, Venus, or Jupiter? Which planet is known for its famous red... Scott. Saturn. No. Its famous red spot. It's actually Jupiter. Jupiter. Jupiter is the correct answer. Sorry about that. Bobby, you get to roll the dice this round. Okay, let's see what we get. And the roll is a five. There's only one way to do it, three and two. Yep, that's it. Three and two come off the board. Now these Booyaka. Are... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You beat me to it, Scott. Dang it. Let me do my job. <laughs> anyway, let's roll a seven for column two, roll of nine for column three. Here comes your next question. Goldie, Jaws, or Wanda? What was the name of the fish? Bobby. Wanda. And the 1988 movie starring John Cleese, it was Wanda. That is correct. Oh, my God. Nice. All right, Bobby. Uh, good rolls left. Six, seven, nine, and ten. You want to roll it or pass? Let's roll them. You want to roll them? Okay. There you go. There's the dice. And the roll is a seven. Six and one. Six and one oh come boy. off the board. And you just picked up column number two. <laughs> Somebody is going to win a car this round. Who will it be? We'll find out as we get to this final question of the round, which is this. Spring, summer, or fall? Which season, when especially warm, is known as Indian summer? And that is Bobby. Fall. Fall is correct. All right, Bobby. What do you want to do? I'll pass. Gonna pass it. All right, Scott. Mm -hmm. Roll me the nine. You win the game and the match. You're headed back to the big numbers. All right, come on. Let me keep my car, please. Let's go. And that's a five to bad roll. And Bobby ties it up. Bobby's got a car. You're giving away a lot of great prizes cash on this episode. Both players with one win. We're going to a third tiebreaker today. 
Let's get right to it, and let's put the prizes up there to see what we're playing for. First off in column one, we go with the TV, the Toyota Tacoma, the flatware. We have a trip to Mazatlan worth $3,750. Column one, now we're $27,223. In column two, we have a washer and dryer worth $1,428. And finally, for column three, the bedroom group and e-reader. And we have an exercise bike added to that, making that column worth $8,511 and a board value for our tiebreaker match of $37,162. Very important to see who goes on to the big numbers here. Let's line them up. There we go, and hot column is there. Column number two, roll 12. All right, we start the tiebreaker match with this. Hinduism, Judaism, or Buddhism? Zen is a form of... Scott. Buddhism. Form of which religion? Buddhism is correct. And first roll of the tiebreaker match is yours. And you got yourself a five. By itself. Five by itself comes off the board. And here comes your next question. Surrealism, postmodernism, or beat? Allen Ginsberg, William, Bobby. Beat. William Burroughs and Jack Kernack are founders of what literary movement? Beat is correct. All right, Bobby, here are the dice. And the roll is a seven. Six and one. Six and one both come off the board. Leaving now a roll of nine to clear column number three. Italy, France, or England? Which country gave the United States the Statue of Scott? France. Statue of Liberty as a gift. France is correct. Right, here's the dice. All right. And the roll is a 10. Seven and three. All right, seven and three both come off the board. Maybe now a roll of eight for column two and a two for column three. Cherry Blossom, Chattanooga, or Chesterfield? Which choo-choo was a hit for Glenn? Bobby. Chattanooga choo-choo. For Glenn Miller and his orchestra, the old Chattanooga choo-choo. You're right. All right, Bobby, bad rolls for you. Three, five, and seven. Would you like to roll or pass? I'll roll. Gonna roll it, all right. And the roll is an eight. And let's take out the eight. Eight comes off the board, and you just picked up call number two. <laughs> yeah, very nice prize for you, and you can take that home should you win the round. All right, good rolls left. Two. Four, six, nine, and eleven. Here comes your next one. Ringo Starr, Kenneth Starr, or Cole Porter. Who produced the first official report on the Clinton Lewinsky affair? That's Bobby. Kenneth Starr. Kenneth Starr is the right answer. Your option, sir. I'll pass. Gonna pass. All right, Scott. All right. You need to stay alive. Something to keep me in the game, please. Mm. And it's a 12, which unfortunately Ooh. is a bad roll, but you do get to roll again. All right. And it's a 7, it's a bad roll, and we have a new champion. Great game, Bobby. Well played by both of you there, and... Bobby, you are going on to the big number, sir. Oh, what a battle. What a game. Scott, you've definitely been a fighting champion, to say the least, here, sir. How, do, hey, how are we feeling right now? Oh, yeah. I'm feeling pretty good still. But, like, that was a good run for me. I don't doubt it there. But when we add what you won there, that 94.43 plus the $5,000 as well, to what you previously won for winning that hot com there. You leave us here on this run of high rollers with a grand total of $88,523, sir. Congratulations to you. Hey, 
Last three are my birthday. That's perfect. There you go. As if it was meant to be almost. So well done for you. And we hope to see you back here at some point later on this season. So we look forward to seeing you then. Give it up for Scott Michaels, y'all. Yeah. Thank you. Go win the 100K, Bobby. Thanks. And Mr. Bobby Bailey, look at you doing big things over here on your first day out. A a very well played game. You have won yourself thirty thousand seven hundred and fifty six dollars in cash and prizes. And in just a minute, we're going to see if you can't add another hundred grand to it as Bobby takes on the big numbers next here on High Rollers. Stay with us. Back here on High Rollers here with our new champion, Mr. Bobby Bailey. He's got himself $30,756 in cash and prizes. And now, Bobby, is your chance to try to take out the big numbers here for hundred grand. You saw how Scott played it a little while ago because you were watching from backstage. So we're just going to jump straight into it. Here are the golden dice. I wish you the best of luck. Go get that money. Thanks, Brandon. Here we go. Uh, and it's a double. That's a four. Give you that insurance marker. How do you want to play the four? Three and one. Three and one. Both come off the board, and you've got yourself $2,000. Roll again. Roll is, oh, a three. It's a bad roll. i gotta, got to take that insurance marker right back from you and ask you to roll again. A nine. A nine. Nine by itself comes off the board. That's a three thousand dollars now. And you got yourself a seven. Seven. All right. The seven comes off the board. Up to four thousand dollars. And it's an eight. And you want to play the eight? Eight. All right. Eight by itself. One number at a time will get you there. It's $5,000. Roll again. Roll is a six. Six. All right. Six by itself. There we go. Up to $6,000. Four, five, and two. All that remain. If you can roll me an 11, you get yourself $100,000. Okay. Let's see if we can get it. 11. Ooh, so close. It's a 12. But that's unfortunately a bad roll, so we get you a chance to roll again. One number back. Here we go. Oh, so close to the 10. Dang it. Right there. I thought you had that one for sure. All right. Well, tough break there, Bobby. But hey, six numbers gives you another $6,000. And when we add that to your previous winnings, you are now up to here on high rollers a grand total of thirty six thousand seven hundred fifty six dollars <laughs> nicely done sir you are our champion and you'll come back with us next time here to defend and continue uh continue your run here as champion and hopefully you guys at home will be back with us next time as well because this has been a long episode so we're out of time i'm going to say thank you for watching remember to like share and subscribe to the channel and ring the bell that way you never miss out on all the fun and games here at mvg productions from all of us here at high rollers we'll say so long everybody we'll see you next time <laughs>